Aizol's winning run ended in Hyderabad last week, but now they are back in familiar settings against opponents they have never played at home. And now let's get into the team news of Aizol FC as Pinho adds Zoding Liana Ralti at left back. He adds more balance to the defence and Amoya is back in the team. He cuts in from the left, but he is more likely to come central. An interesting approach that with one foreigner, always a difficult ask, especially when you have the option to play four of them. We'll wait and see how can create deal with that. And as well, FC walk out at the Rajiv Gandhi Stadium with their heads high, with 80% win record. And they were battered in their previous outing against Trinity Tech and Football Club. When they do, they still manage to get something from the games. It is that mentality and character that might set these two teams apart. Well, the referee in charge of this game is Surajit Das. We'll come back to that. Uh, well, meanwhile, the Tenkwe lineup and two changes from Akhil Kothari. It has to be either tactical or something. And he'll be leading his team from the back, uh, Aizol FC. But uh, talking about their positions uh, in the league table, Aizol is an eighth uh, at the moment, uh, while Kenkre find themselves uh, just above uh, uh, Sudeva and Niroka. But now here come Kenkre, slightly depleted, but still rich enough on the back of 2-2 against the Black Panthers in Kolkata. The number 24, Lalchan Hima Silo is on the ball, plays it out wide for the number 9, Thalpuya. There's a cut back towards the near post and an early save. And still it's alive, it comes off the bar. As they try to get hold of possession in midfield, which they have done well so far. And here's Silo once again. He'll be looking for the shot. Here he goes into the back of the net. And what a goal that is from Lalchan Hima Silo. Eyes all FC on the lead, 1-0. Just justifies his inclusion into the side. He was beaten all ends up. Look at that on the bounce using his outstep and bang into the far corner. And no chance uh, for the Kenkre goalkeeper Tenzin. Uh, those snapshots for the goalkeepers to deal with, especially uh, their vision, are being obstructed by the presence of a defender in front of them. Meanwhile, a mistake, and this time he palms it over. Eight and now cut shots. it inside. Getting help from the number 24. Lines up for another one. Oh my word. An absolute pile driver from the number 24. From Lalchani Masailo, the youngster. Look at that. Perfectly to the top corner. And Aizol FC are 2-0 ahead now. Good to see Aizol FC. They're playing out from the back. All the modern day principles being applied in the Hero I League as well. And there's another shot. And this time the keeper fumbles. It's landed into the roof of the net. This time, Lalton Mawia. And that was on target as well. And the ball played in towards nobody. And so that's the half-time whistle from the referee Surajit Das. Uh, these are the match stats. Uh, six shots on target from Aizol FC. They are mac making a habit of scoring special goals. And there is two more in the locker this evening. And Amoya with a massive opportunity to break the deadlock and Tenzin with heroics in goal in the early doors. Here's a chance from the left once again. Mawia down the left-hand side past the challenger. And that's another goal. Well, surprise, surprise, uh, the defender and the keeper were left wondering what they could do. Into the second post. Uh, this was Moya's cross just taking on the number 23, uh, Nam. And that toe poke from David. Uh, finding the back of the net, a decisive touch uh, from the number 19. Nothing much once again the goalkeeper could do. A perfect crosser on a plate. Here's the long throw coming in. Ben inside the box, chance for a shot. Saved by Muan Sangha. What a save that. First real chance uh, for Ken Kray. Sorry, Liana floats it in for a header. Chested down and this might be another goal. Easy tap in unless the flag is up. Which has stayed down and it's Aizol FC for King Krenil. In favor of Aizol FC. Look at that chest trap from Akito. A half of the job was done there. What a wonderful team goal there. Perfect execution, chest down by Kito. And right position. Another long ball aimed towards Pravito Raju. And easy in the end. A handball decision given by Surajit Das. Once again, the keeper seemed to be unaware of the threat. Sorting Liana. Good shape on the cross. And there's the header from Kim Kima. Just tipped over by Tenzin. And look at that once again. A perfectly placed header. And a top notch save by the keeper. Last 30 seconds remaining. 
Last action of this game, zoning Liana's corner. And now shot on the turn. A hint of a handball. Uh, seems like for Jeremy. 10 seconds of the game. Uh, we'll look at that once again, what exactly happened. And that's a high boot. See the final whistle uh, from the referee. So it did pass. So the referee blows the whistle. A 51% possession for Kenkre 49 has been pretty close the second half in terms of keeping the ball. Seven corners won by Aizol FC. Uh, here is the number 24, Lalchen Hima Silo. Uh, today is hero of the match for scoring a breast. He's been pretty industrious in the middle of the park for the People's Club.